Future husbands hey, and wives. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, remember that song? Remember that song? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, we are back like we never left. We have been on a journey of refreshing mm -hmm. and reflecting ourselves. Yes. We celebrated our 18th wedding anniversary. One, eight. October 22nd, 2005 was the day that we were married. Mm -hmm. And it actually is a day that commemorates an email that started <laughs> sent me and uh, telling me how much she had to have me in her life. <laughs> she just, I mean, she mm -hmm. went in. I got to get that email. I'm telling you now, I got to find a mm -hmm. way. Got to go back to the Claflin uh, email technology, whatever, but uh, just oh. a good day. So we commemorate that day as a day to, as why we made it our wedding anniversary, why we made yes. it our wedding day. Yes. It was a day that to me defined a friendship that turned into, as you can see, a power chord. That's right. So, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. We still feel like we're celebrating. Right. We are, because you got to. That's how yeah. we do our birthdays that way, so yeah. you got to do your marriage. Somebody to. even told us happy birthday Yep. on our yep. anniversary. Yep. Mm -hmm. so, so, we're really excited about that. We loved it. But we took a, an opportunity to step away, mm -hmm. to unplug, in order to reflect. Mm -hmm. I believe that reflection gives room for refreshing That's good. and rejuven rejuvenation as well. And so we took time to do that. And so we're going to talk about the power mm -hmm. of reflection as a means to a refreshing in your marriage. Mm -hmm. I love that. And then the thing is, when you reflect and you refresh, first of all, you got to make sure you're not reflecting through dirty lenses. Yeah. You got to make sure you're not reflecting through yeah. a foggy uh, a sense because it's not what it seems like or right. it's not really what you look like. Right. Your, your vision is a little... You know, it's a little off. And so exactly. when you're reflecting on your marriage, it's easy, especially if you're looking through foggy lenses, it's easy to be like, this is bad. That's bad. This is wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, you mm -hmm. see all the mm -hmm. dirt. Mm -hmm. You'll see all the hurt. You'll see all the pain that was never dealt with. Yeah. But when you reflect from a perspective of, you know, is that my one of my favorites? Is that glass half empty or half full, right. you know, it's how you look at it. So when you actually step away to say, you know what, it ain't all bad. Yeah, you know what I mean? There yeah, might be some yeah, uncomfortable yeah, yeah. moments, but can you really look and write that thing out and be like, you know what? The good does outweigh the bad. So let That's me right. cleanse this a little bit so that I, now that I've reflected, all right, where are we? Yeah. Now let's refresh. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Reflection gives the opportunity to look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. I mean, you look in the mirror every, every day when you're getting ready to go to work mm -hmm. or whatever. And you do that because you want to see what you look like. Maybe because you, you, you don't always see yourself, mm -hmm. you know, but so it takes time to reflect, to make sure that you are going in the same direction. You look in the way you, you plan to look where right. marriage, same thing. Want to make sure that our marriage still reflects Christ in the church. Always. You know, and we want to make sure your marriage <laughs> still looks like yes. the way that it, you were intending it to look when you said I do. Yeah. And so this, this is a time. So we want to talk about that, the power of refreshing, reflection in marriage. And I want to say this too, when you mentioned about looking in the mirror, when you look in the mirror, you don't always like what you see. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're yeah. like, oh, I could do this different. I could do that yeah. different. And some people don't even like looking at mirrors or taking pictures because they don't like what they see. True. And True. so when you don't like what you see, then the goal is, okay, what can I do about it? Yeah, make adjustments. What, yep. How can changes. I adjust, right, so that I am comfortable with what I see? I remember a season of looking in the mirror, like, man, why is that spot there? Yeah. Why is this here? Or being frustrated and looking at other people when you look like they have no blemishes. Mm -hmm. When they, you know what I mean? You're looking at them like, man, it don't, that's how I want this to look at yeah. that. And so it can be a good or a bad thing. You know what I mean? Because that's what we do in marriage sometimes. I don't like what I see in my marriage. Let me look at their marriage. I like what I see and I want that. But you don't know the process and the procedures of all what they went through mm -hmm. for their refresh refreshing. So we can't reflect 
by looking through our mirror and looking at our marriage, worrying about somebody else's reflection. Yeah. It has to be solely us. And so when we took that moment and we took that time and we reflect, and again, sometimes it's uncomfortable. Yeah. You don't want to reflect on the things that were, didn't feel so good, but right. you got to go to right. those hard places and those deep places yeah. so that you can move forward. If not, the enemy will use that thing like blackmail over you. He yeah. will hold it over you and you'll be in bondage to yeah. what didn't feel good. So yeah. don't be afraid of reflection. And, and it's not performative. It's not, I'm, I'm all about authenticity. Yeah. I mean, I'm all about making sure that you're not doing something for the sake of doing something. And so it's an opportunity mm -hmm. to, in a very sober manner, to sit and talk about actual things in your marriage. Mm -hmm. Talk about who you are as a person. You are changing. You're developing. I don't care if you've been married for a year. Yeah. I don't, a, set, few, a few months. To start there. A few months. Um, then to a few years. Into yeah. decades. Yeah, it, it still takes time. As long as there's breath in your body. Oh, yeah. The word of God says that the inward man is renewed day by day. Mm -hmm. Although the outward man decays, the inward man is renewed. But when you don't reflect, it's only renewed when you give yourself over mm -hmm. to the spirit of God yeah. to renew you mm -hmm. where God says, be ye transformed by the renewing of yes. your mind. Yeah. Right. And Absolutely. so in order for your marriage to be transformed, it must be renewed mm -hmm. in order for your marriage to be renewed. You're going to have to reflect to determine where are we right now? Yeah. Like, yeah. what does it look like? Yeah. Y'all, this is room to even talk about how do you feel mm -hmm. without offending each other, yeah. without, indicting people being indicted for having mm -hmm. feelings that may not be yours. Mm -hmm. I heard it said one time in a marriage, this man was, I may have shared this on the podcast before husband and wife were laying in the bed. Uh, just when the husband was just talking about how good a life they're having, mm -hmm. he said, we're oh, I'm feeling so good. Our, our marriage is great. Mm -hmm. We're thriving. And I'm paraphrasing. And while he was saying how good it was, mm -hmm. his wife was next to him sobbing her eyes mm, out well boohoo crying well because she was saying the direct opposite of what the marriage is like she said oh, i wow. am miserable wow. i'm not happy it's basically i hate it here oh wow yeah and it blew his mind because he was going in one direction thinking that everything was going well yeah while she was going as mary j blessed like like I was going down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was going down. She was, she was, it was miserable for her. Why? Because they didn't take time to reflect on how they're doing together. Mm. Like we say all the time, you can't be married by yourself. You cannot. You, it's no such thing to, as you, single marriage. No, marriage <laughs> itself means to become, right. one, means to be together. Mm -hmm. And so when it comes to being together, you got to reflect on how together are we in mm -hmm. our finances? That's good. How together? Again, I tell you, it's not about being right. It's about being together. That's good. And then when you're together, are you together with Christ? That's good. So it's not about being right. It's about being righteous. Mm -hmm. So you got to reflect on the righteousness of your marriage. Mm -hmm. Are we together in finance? Are we together in our intimacy? Mm -hmm. Are we together in our prayer life? Mm -hmm. are we, where do we stand? And you got to take those opportunities to assess mm -hmm. without judgment. Without That's good. You got to assess without judgment. You got to talk about it mm -hmm. just, because we're in this together. Right. And so you, when you do that, you're not necessarily talking about the person. You're talking right. about yourselves. Right. right. You're talking about yourself and how you are responding. It's like, this is how I believe I am doing well. And this is what I believe I'm mm -hmm. not doing so well. And then give room and grace for somebody to, to make a an observation of yeah. how they see you doing in an area. And I mean, reflection is so, let me tell you, it's so big. You said so much right there because one, two of the things that you said that I want us to um, think about, um, he preached, you preached a sermon talking about um, being offended. And so even when you talk about now, there's a difference in walking in a spirit of offense and then you stay there. Like if your spouse says something that he or she may not be comfortable with or we're reflecting and I'm saying, yeah. I know you think this is that, but for a long time I've been holding this back because I didn't want to make you, but it really is making me uncomfortable. Yeah. And if you get offended by it, you'll be ready to, you know, you'll be in fight mode. Like wow. what? I'm yeah. doing this and that. But you said something when you were preaching a sermon and you said what well, we don't allow because of this flesh, if we don't yeah. allow God to, you know, offend that flesh, you know what I mean? We will defend the very thing. Exactly. And so I, and when I heard the sermon, I didn't think about that in marriage. Yeah. But when you just now said about reflecting and having those times to communicate, and then we walk in the offense because we think we're doing something right. Now right. you're telling me I'm wrong. What? Yeah. And then we get mad about it. Yeah. And then that doesn't go good. Yeah. 
But in marriage, it blessed me in that quick second. Just I was like, oh, because if we don't allow the uncomfortable moments, right. even when it's hard, but if we don't allow those moments, we will defend yeah. why we do what we do and yeah. we'll justify it yeah. as if it's right. When your spouse is saying, this doesn't make me comfortable. Yeah. I don't like when you do this. I don't yeah. like when we do that. And but something years ago, you said to me, we cannot we also cannot be so quick to say what we don't like in marriage. But yet we hold back on what we do like. Yeah. So there has yeah. to be I'm not saying balancing the good and the bad. But what I am saying is if you I can't be so willing to pull from your tank, but I'm not pouring into your tank. Yeah. But that comes with reflecting as well. Yeah. And so. Yeah. yeah. Well, I want to say this, too. You You can't pick flowers from a garden you've not watered. Mm, okay. Leave if flowers you, alone. Yeah, so, so <laughs> I, I say that because whenever you want to pick, mm -hmm. you know, whenever you want to reflect, sometimes reflection may cause room for us to pick things apart, mm -hmm. to say things. And so it's easier for you to say something to people when you have watered them all along, when you have encouraged them. It's easy for them to take criticism when they know you don't mind giving them praise. Mm -hmm. And so... And so sometimes people have a hard time receiving uh, constructive criticisms because where are you you've not watered me, you've not given wow. me, you're not giving me my flowers, you've not encouraged me. And so mm -hmm. you can't pull from a place you've not made deposits in. Mm -hmm. And I think that we're seeing that. I think that's why a lot of people have a hard time hearing from each other, especially in spouses and in, in marriages is because you're like, you know, well, you didn't you. It's easy for you to criticize mm -hmm. me, but it's hard for you to praise me. I want to be. And I think pride comes with that too, because you're like, if you praise somebody, if you praise me, then you're saying that I do everything right, and so then it doesn't give you room to criticize. It's, it's a weird thing. It doesn't give you room. It's kind of manipulative. Mm -hmm. I can't criticize you if I'm praising you all the time, because then it's going to look like, well, then why did I praise you if I'm also going to criticize you too? And that's yeah. not what it's all about. It's about caring. And so when yeah. you can, when you constructively criticize, you love, but in that same breath. You gotta also be quick to praise and yeah. encourage and uplift as yeah. well. I, if I can be transparent, I am guilty. That had that was me in the past. Now I'm not perfect, mm -hmm. you know, yet, but I've grown tremendously over the 18 years because not tearing down, but I, it was mm -hmm. easier for me to say mm -hmm. what was wrong, or yeah. it was easier for me to respond to hurt. Yeah. It was easier for me to respond to. Um, what what felt like pain or yeah. whatever yeah. versus responding to the flowers, responding yeah. to the love, and because I I said a lot of it possibly came from how it was raised. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. I wasn't not that sound bad, but anyway, yeah. I, we didn't like our way of showing love. Mm -hmm. We didn't necessarily say it or hear it, but what what I knew it was there yeah because of actions and because of everything else yeah. but if somebody did some ouch that hurt ouch I don't like what you did no that's wrong and yeah. so I was definitely guilty of that you know trying to be so quick to say you know no yeah. I don't like that yeah. but then if you ask me why do you love why do you this and I'm like mm -hmm. uh -huh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. acting weird yeah 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 <laughs> And so it's, it's really important. So I wouldn't say it's got to be intentional. You have to be intentional about watering. The Bible yeah. says as, as husbands, especially, you got to wash your wives with the water of the word. That's why we talk about the power court so much. You yeah. want to always keep hearing us align um, marriages to Christ and the church and making sure, because I'm telling you now, it is hard being married already. Mm hmm but it's harder being married without Christ yeah. being the center of that joy. And I noticed I said he's the center. And this is song says he's the center of our joy, mm -hmm. not center of our happiness. <laughs> because yeah. happiness changes, even in marriage. You're not happy every day. And the marriage doesn't are always, it's not always happiness in the marriage, but there is always joy. Mm -hmm. The joy is that we have faith, we have hope, we have love. Because we have faith, we have hope, and we have love, and we have a chance to always turn a good thing, a bad thing into a good thing. Mm -hmm. And even when it's going tough, we know there's a joy that is That's before good. us that causes me to endure. And, but you got you to reflect. You got to say, where are we right now? We took time to look in our marriage and realize that there are time, things in our marriage that we feel like we may be operating at limited capacity. Of course. We talk, That's what we talked about in our reflection time. We said, are we maximizing the space that we're in as a couple? Mm -hmm. Are we fully maximizing every area of our lives 
And we had to come to the realization that we got to give God more room yeah. to move in That's areas true. that we may have thought that he didn't need to move in or we didn't need to reflect on. And so yeah. when you reflect, it gives you a chance to look at the blind spots That's in your good. marriage mm -hmm. because you can, because you, you take time because yeah. when you're married, that's why people say time flies. Time is not doing anything different than what time is going to do. Mm -hmm. But you, what you don't pay attention to, it makes it look like it's flying. Yes. But because we're moving all the time, we're always working. You're not taking that time to stop and smell the roses. Mm -hmm. You're not taking that time to stop and water your garden so you can smell the roses. So you mm -hmm. got to take time to stop so you can catch any blind spot That's good. that may end up becoming a problem or a sore spot in your marriage. And so you got to ask yourself, what are some things in my marriage that we need to talk about mm -hmm. and make time for it? I mean, you, you can't afford not to make time. I don't care if you can get up at four in the morning. So you can thrive. Five in the morning. Yeah. yeah. So you can have joy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Yes. And then listen to podcasts, listen to power cord, uh, take, go to church together, read yeah. the word together, pray together. These are awesome times. Watch things for together. It's going to build you up. And so as we get ready to close, there's a part in our own Power Core prayer journal. And one of our prayer focuses in there is pray for a refreshing yes. in your marriage. Yes. And so these two quick points, however, consistency and familiarity when appropriately perceived can become a building block and give way to renewal and refreshing in your marriage. I'm going to yeah. jump down. The new thing that God wants to do in your marriage will produce new life. God wants yeah. to give your marriage a refreshing Embrace the new thing he yeah. wants to do in you and pray for it. Pray for it. Pray for pray it. For it. And even now, we want to pray for the refreshing in your marriage. We want to pray for the grace yeah. that God has already given mm -hmm. that you can be more aware of so that you can reflect as led by the Spirit. Lord, we pronounce yes. a refreshing on marriages. Yes, Lord. Yep. Uh, there are marriages right now that feel like they're stale. There are marriages yes. that feel like even questions are coming up in their minds like did i make the right decision did yes lord. did i make a mistake no god you're not someone that will cause somebody just to walk out a mistake mm -hmm. lord god before you give them revelation thank you on lord. what needs to happen and so i just pray that you will give them re the opportunity to reflect yes that you give them guidance even if you have to wake them up early in the morning yes. and they feel already and awakened to do so i pray that you give them signs lord of what needs to be reflected on mm -hmm. we thank you for refreshing thank you lord we thank you for renewal yes lord for these couples in jesus name amen amen listen we're always here to speak life to your marriage speak life in your marriage and, and speak, speak life, life over your, your marriage, marriage. continue to make that time to reflect and we look forward to coming back absolutely with more information on how to make your marriage a thriving power core marriage we love y'all love you guys go ahead and reflect